All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. We truly appreciate the support. Quick PSA, still June. Tesla has now increased the discount given for inventory, new inventory, Model S and Model X vehicles. So if you are looking to get one, this is the time to get one and make sure you consider using our referral code. You get lots of perks and benefits. Now is the time to buy. All right. Now we got that out the way, we got FSD beta version 11.4.4, which looks to fix some of the major issues that uh, were prevalent in 11.4.3 for most, if not all people. Okay, so really quickly looking at the release notes, there's some quick notes here for improved short deadline changes to avoid going off route through better modeling of target lane vehicles to improve gap selection uh, assertiveness. And this is basically saying if it has to get into a quick lane change to be able to follow the route or to get into the next lane for an interchange or exit, it needs to be able to do that, um, you know, quickly and effectively versus before where it would it would not get over in time or get be in the wrong lane uh, when it needed to make a quick exit or be in the correct lane to be able to take an exit. And it would sometimes miss the exit altogether. You've seen that once in our videos, not so much in our general day to day driving with FSD beta. But other areas, this seems to be an ongoing issue. So they're looking to improve that. We're going to test that in the next video uh, just to be able to see what that looks like. Okay. Improved offset consistency when controlling static objects also improves smoothness when changing offset direction by adjusting speed more comfortably. So again, just making things more comfortable, more human-like in terms of lane changes, in terms of making maneuvers. All right. Uh, here's the one we want to pay attention to is improved handling of oncoming cars on narrow unmarked roads by improving prediction of oncoming cars trajectory and leaving enough room for them to pass before recentering. This is one of my biggest complaints, one of my biggest issues when we talk about unmarked roads and the car going down unmarked roads. It should kind of create its own lane in the visualization and basically drive on that side of the lane so it can avoid swerving around cars, cars that are parked, cars that are coming on this way and they have to go around them and then recenter. So this looks to make a, a little bit of an adjustment, not totally completely fixed it the way that we prefer it to be, but it should be a little bit more um, easy to see cars on coming and then make the adjustment early enough so it's not uncomfortable and at the last minute. Okay, so that's really what, what this update looks to improve. And then a bunch of other things, occupancy network, flow predictions, improved VRUs, all that good stuff um, here. But we're just gonna take it out for a drive and, and test it out. Let's do that right now. All right, here we go. FSD beta 11.4.4. Here's our first turn coming up. Stopping well before the limit line. Good amount of traffic coming to the left. Creeping up. Car coming, car coming, car coming, car coming. And now it's going to go for it. All right, good job on that one. There's also rumors of an Elon mode, which I've long suspected uh, when Elon talks about his drives on FSD beta, um, where he doesn't have to hold the yoke or the wheel and can just drive like this all the time. I would love to see that be implemented using the cabin camera to determine attentiveness. And again, one or the other. If I'm not looking, if my eyes are off the road, I'm picking up something, have my hand on the yoke or the wheel. And if, uh, you know, if I am paying attention to the road, then I don't need my hand on the yoke and the wheel. It just makes it that much more um, easy to ride and less stressful. And you don't have to put so much attention on the car where, to the point where it becomes uh, more of an effort than actual driving in certain instances, specifically on the highway right now. Come up to our second turn, lots of traffic up here. Everyone's being diverted. And here's where it tries to go over this shoulder slash bike lane area to make the turn. Again, probably just shouldn't have this behavior. Should just go straight and make the turn, especially when there's a shoulder or a bike lane present. Now, that could always pose problems, especially if it's sitting here, someone's trying to ride their bike, they have to now go further around us here to be able to get there. So interesting scenario for turn two. Let's see what the car decides to do. It's going wide again. Now it's making its turn. A little wide there, but okay. I'm okay with that. It was awkward, so it was a little wide. Good control on the winding roads here. Turn signal still on. Slowing down and controlling, which is good. 
It was a pretty much unmarked road, but it kind of extrapolates its own lane lines here because there is an actual faint lane line that is there somewhere. Good job controlling on the turn. Lots of traffic now because of the diversion with the construction. So this should also be interesting for those looking for more denser traffic areas. Good, a little bit of an overreaction there. I'm okay with it because it didn't really move the car, just really swerved in a very slow manner. So here's our unprotected left. Lots and lots of traffic here waiting for us. I'll speed it up. A little bit of an overreaction. Another overreaction. Not sure why. Coming up to the limit line. Now creeping forward. Car on the right. Not so much on the left. We can go now. Go now. Go. It's waiting. For, the car has a turn signal on. It can go. Gonna give it some accelerator. And now it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna fail that one. Just because the car that was coming from the left pedestrian on a bike it does not stop it does not stop it's slowing down but not stopping so that's not good but i'm gonna i'm gonna fail that second turn just because the car on the left had a turn signal and it was turning so it was clear for us to go and we still hesitated uh and still waited so far out there in the lane so that wasn't great and it passed that in the last bill so i'm gonna run this again on another drive not this drive and see if it's repeatable but that definitely should have been a scenario where it saw the turn signal that that car wanted to turn down the street that we were on, it should have just continued to proceed with the turn as normal because no car was coming from the right. And I had to intervene by giving some accelerator. So in this instance, there is a ton of traffic as you can see here on the map. Um, so I will speed past all of this. Lots of overreaction. I'm going to flag them. Um, just lots of overreaction to things at slow moving speeds, which is very interesting. As the car is moving less than 10 miles an hour, pedestrian looking to cross, slows down nicely. Good job. Resumes. But again, just overreacting. The person cleared the line and it's still trying to go around as if the person is there. So it's trying to give them, I guess, more room for anything to happen. Not sure. But that seems to be the case right now is a overreaction to a lot of things that are just at slow moving speed. So below 10 miles an hour or 10 miles an hour, you'll start to see the car maneuver, turn the yoke, uh, turn the wheel to uh, potentially evade things that are potentially coming its way but they're not actually coming there that way. Not terrible, but it doesn't give me the most confidence. It's not as confidence inspiring. See that? See that? Like we're good, we're veering. I'm gonna disengage here. Autopilot making unnecessary maneuvers, reacting improperly to objects in front. So not so great so far. I'll re-engage once I, I pass this because this is a school zone and school is in session. And maybe this car might want to go and somebody might let them go. I'm not sure. This person's not going. I will go. I'll re-engage, bump up to 30. Let's see what happens now. Tons and tons of traffic today. Signaling to get into the lane. Gets into the lane nicely. Takes a little wide, but okay. Now we gotta make sure we don't regress here. Stay towards our center line. Deviate as necessary with cars turning. Otherwise stay the course and proceed. It's looking good so far in the path planner. Good job slowing down. Good job resuming. And again, just the overreaction. Gee, it's, it's going so wide for no reason. You're gonna slow down and let the car proceed or you're gonna swerve around them to go around them as they make the turn. You're not gonna do both. You're not gonna slow down completely, let them leave and then swerve around as if the car is still there. That's the incorrect behavior. 
Uh, and that seems to be an issue here. And the train is here. So this is just not a great time for FSD pay to, to be going down this road. But it's it's real world scenario. So we'll, we'll stick with it. Again, I'll fast forward past all of this. All right, here we go with our intersection that has that phantom maneuver where it tries to turn left at the last minute. I'll keep my hands at the ready as usual, but I'll also have my foot at the ready. And here's where cars are passing us because we're not passing. And now we're going to go straight and they're going to go straight. Or maybe they're going to turn here. Okay, good. So no maneuver there. So that's good. No regression there where well, that phantom maneuver doesn't go there. But now the train tracks are here. we got to slow down. We can't stop on the train track. Okay, the green light is there, so that's giving me a little bit more confidence, but now we're kind of on the train track a little bit where we shouldn't be. Um, I'm gonna flag it just in case, just because we are technically, tail is on the train track, but so are cars behind us, but that's no excuse. Coming up to our last turn here, final turn. Let's see what we do here. Cars are gonna be eager to get around us, so if it goes wide, it could be problematic. job I had to give a little confirmation for the system got mad at me uh, but good job on that last turn and we're here all right so pull over right here um, that's going to end it. That's our first drive on 11.4.4 with extremely dense traffic in this particular area um, for this time of day. So what do I think about it? I think that this particular drive um, was interesting. Uh, it seemed to be a little less confidence inspiring because of the maneuvers that I was making. It did everything else pretty much the same as 11.4.3, took the turns the right way, handled the bends, handled the mass of the car, um, handled, um, you know, other cars the way that it handles it in terms of being able to go around them. But it did a lot of overreacting, a lot of overreacting to things, unnecessary movements in terms of reactions. Cars were turning. It was trying to move out of the way, even though we were in our lane. Um, the unprotected left turn, which I gave it a fail, had the car with the turn signal on, the car still hesitated but it hesitated so far out there. We were so far out there that even if that person decided to go straight, it would have to go around us to go straight. So that was not a good a good look. Um, I didn't flag that one because I wanna do it again. I wanna do it again to see if it's repeatable and then I'll flag it on the next one. Okay, well, let me know what you thought in the comments about this particular drive. I know it was a little bit slow because of um, the traffic, but let me know. Let me know your experience if you got 11.4.4. We got another video coming out very quickly right after this one. We're going to start to test some of the more highway scenarios, regression tests on speed bumps as well, and roundabouts. So that's coming very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. And as always, until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.